Hi everyone and welcome back to some more civilization 6. So, let's continue where we left off. We are at war with China now. So, let's attack their capital, shall we? Shouldn't take too long to conquer it. Especially with artillery. And we have a third artillery incoming. It will take it a few turns to get there. Yeah, the city will probably be ours before the third artillery can even arrive there. Which is fine. I'm not sure if we'll be able to surround it. We'll probably need the other Cossack. Yep. Alright, and we got another builder. That will definitely be helpful. Link the balloon to artillery. And fortify. I wonder if they are going to send any defenses. We know they have AT crew. So I assume they will use them to defend their capital because, you know, that makes sense. As for the builder, this right here is a hill with a jungle. So we can remove the jungle and then get a mine. Let's do that. That's 28 production and food. And we do have two excess traders right now because we changed the government. We'll just save them for the future. We can use them if we lose some of the other trade routes, which might happen, and it probably will. You will sleep and wait. We got 13 traders right now, but we can only use 11. So, China, what are you going to do? Probably not a whole lot. I think we'll also go for Beijing, because why not? We can do it, so we might as well do it, and it's a pretty decent city. We got the gold. Alright, what's going on? Source has gained. We can siphon some funds. It will take 8 turns. Yep, we have the time to do that. Alright, back to bombarding the city. And we can maybe use the field cannon as well. Just be careful about that. And fortify. Fortify. We have to wait for the other Cossack before we siege the city properly. And the builders. Let's have a look. We should probably get some farms. It will give us plus one housing and the city could definitely use the housing. Sounds good. Fortify. And that will be a mine. Looks good. So, two more turns of advanced ballistics and we'll switch to something else. And just wait to finish the power plants. We can finish the power plants in the next 10 turns or so. And there's no huge rush to get advanced ballistics. The machine gun is good, but the problem with the machine gun is that it only has one tile range. Which is not great. And we got inspiration for rapid deployment. That's the tech we need to be able to airlift. In the Baltic. We finished the Cold War. We will not be changing any policies. These are good. What's our next Civic going to be? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's going to be rapid deployment. Although, there's no huge rush to research this. Because we still need to wait for the airports. But we might as well do it. Yep, we'll do it. What's the policy again? Oh yeah, plus 50% production towards atomic and information era melee and ranged units. That will definitely be helpful. As for production in Novgorod... We need some housing, but we also need power plant. Let's finish the power plant. Especially since we need it for the boost. The first one will finish on the next turn. And the builder can grab a seaside resort. Fortify and heal back to full. Anything else? Yes, artillery. These two will be farms. That should give us plus one housing in Yaroslav. And then we can switch it to food and production. Yep. No, it didn't? Hold on. That should give us plus one. Interesting. Well, we can still switch it to food and production. No, it is at 11. Yeah, the interface just didn't update properly, but it's at 11 now. Alright, 6 turns for the city to grow. Good enough. Moving a bit. Yeah, they are attacking the field cannon now. We can take one more shot. It should be fine. It has enough health to take at least one more hit. Do some more damage. And the garrison defense is almost gone already. 
I give the city maybe three more turns. Oh, a T-Crow is actually coming. So they are going to defend the city, or try at least. They are welcome to try. So first, let's switch our research to something else. What is it going to be? Combined arms? Plastics? Let's get started on combined arms. Because that's required for nuclear fission, and I'd like to know where uranium is on the map. However, we will need an Earthship, which might or might not happen. That's an actual improvement from the military engineer. Not sure if we'll have the time for that, I might just research combined arms all the way. We'll see. Back to builders. We can send one west, and the other one can improve the fish and the crab. That works. And back to the capital. We do have AT crew incoming. I think it will be best to play it safe. And move the field cannon out of the way. The AT crew cannot attack the field cannon directly just yet. But let's move out of city bombardment range and heal it back to full. Back to Moscow, we got the power plant. I think we should build the theater square. That means I'll have to replace the mine, but oh well, that's fine. I live. Let's grab that. And the battleship will just stay near Novgorod. Looks good. So, can we blockade the city? We should be able to, yes. That's not quite good enough. There we go. Now it's under siege and will not regain any health. Let's fortify. I expect the AT crew to attack the Cossack, but we'll see about that. Oh, they actually bought an apostle. Really? Alright, whatever. What do you want? I don't care about what you have to say. Oh, she likes us because we have a strong military, right. That's her agenda. Not that it will really change much. And we got Eureka for telecommunications. Always nice. I guess we'll just ignore that apostle. We have more important things to do. We should, however, kill the AT crew. So let's maybe do that. We do have a promotion, but let's maybe wait with that. I'd like to do more damage. It's a shame we don't have a bomber. But one more artillery is coming. It just needs at least a few more turns. Let's use the Cossacks. We cannot kill that guy, unfortunately. So, we have fortify. Actually, it might be worth moving away one tile. The city will still be under siege. Or, yeah, let's just swap with the infantry corps. Yeah, I like that plan. And move away with the Cossacks slightly. The city won't be under siege anymore, but I don't want to lose the Cossack. And it's a little bit low on health now. Yeah, this is fine. And the city. Let's have a look. Broadcast center, 17 turns. Power plant, 17. 11 out of 14 housing is fine. Maybe we should get another builder. Yeah, I actually think we should. Especially since we got the policy active. How about we send one more artillery with a Cossack? It's not like we need it here. Not really. Yeah, sure. Let's send it to help. It won't hurt. We aren't even that far away. And we can pressure them from the other direction. As for actual production... Let's start some unit, I suppose. Or a builder. We could remove more jungle. Let's grab a builder. And Paris. 32 production. Not terrible, but not amazing either. Do we need a builder in this area? Not really. Seaside resort. Let's just get some units. Like artillery. Or military engineer. We could get that airstrip with the military engineer. Not a bad idea, seeing how Paris can actually recruit one. And the trader. Where do we need him the most? Good question. We could 
try to speed up Crystal Redentor a little bit more. We can do that. And you can chill in the encampment district. What do you want? He thinks we are warmongers. <laughs> How predictable. Isn't he at war himself? Yes, he is at war with China, isn't he? And he calls us a warmonger. Seems legit. Same with Cleopatra. Oh, she declared a surprise war, really? Okay. What era is she in? Because that's the first time I've seen an AI declare a surprise war this late into the game. Maybe she's in one of the much earlier eras? She's in modern era. Yeah, I think this is the first time I actually see an AI declare a surprise war in modern era. But alright, <laughs> chariot archers. I don't think that will do you much good, you know, I'm just saying. Having said that, we'll have to do some damage at least. So let's have a look, back up with the Cossack. And use the field cannon. What's this tile? Just a regular tile. Let's see. Yeah, let's do some damage. Like so. Yeah, that's 100. And we can pillage the trade route. Thanks for the gold, Egypt. They will so regret declaring this war. I have no idea what they are thinking. Especially since she just said she likes us having a big army. <laughs> One turn ago. Maybe she has split personality. You know, I think we should grab that promotion, because this will be a lot of wasted experience otherwise. Yeah, let's grab that promotion. I don't like skipping a turn, but we need the promotion. Finish the encampment, and the builder will grab the oil. Sounds good. And more production. Let's have a look. A bank, that's 12 turns. What else can we get? Let's get that bank, why not? That's only 12 turns. Not too terrible. We also need some housing, but that will have to wait. We can grab a lumber mill. And stay fortified? I think so. Yeah, I think that's going to be the best choice here. Stay fortified. Now you should be improving the fish. I'm curious to see what exactly Egypt is going to do. Oh, we are at war with Vilnius, are we? Yes, apparently we are. Alright. I mean, we can just use that fact to get experience for the artillery, because why the heck not? Sure, let's just do that. It's easy experience. And it's not like they can do much. These are not very strong units. Production, plus 5, is the best we can do here. Off you go then. And... Fortify, I guess. Yep, sounds good. You will stay inside the city. I wouldn't be surprised to see some of the other AIs also joining the war. But we can handle that. Yeah, Egypt is actually attacking with chariot archers. I don't think that's going to work, Cleopatra. You know, I'm just saying. Friendly advice. That's all it is. Oh, that was actually not enough for a kill. But it will be enough now. Free AT cross. Yeah, we definitely need to kill some of these guys. Let's maybe do that. They are quite resistant. We can fortify on the other side of the river. That seems like a much better idea. We got one more artillery incoming. This will be much easier with the other artillery. Fortify. And we need a hangar. And then an airport because that's what we need to be able to airlift. What's the promotion? Oh yeah, that's a spy, nice. What can we get? Technologist, still technology as if two more levels, two levels more experienced. Yeah, that's nice. Takes no time to establish presence in an enemy city. That one is also really nice. If this spy is in home territory, all your spies operate at plus one level. It's a tough choice between the first one and the second one. Let's go for the second one, I like that. And what else? 
improve the oil, obviously, that gives us a boost to plastics. We need one more turn in the combined arms. And I think I'll wait for the Earth ship, because we don't even have to wait that long. Success stealing tech boost. Oh yeah, nice, we stole rocketry tech boost. They think we're a warmonger. I've heard that before, I think. Now, you have nothing that I would be interested in. Sorry, Monty. This is quite a lot of AT crews, okay. Maybe China will actually be able to defend their city successfully. Hey, it's good to see they are actually trying. So, we got a great person, a great general. That is convenient, is he any good? He's a modern era general, yeah, he is. Instantly creates an infantry unit with one promotion level, interesting. He works on modern and atomic era units within two tiles. Let's pick him up then. And we can still take boost. I don't think we'll take the city in the next eight turns, actually. Yeah, especially with these guys actively defending it. Might be time to back up slightly. Yeah, we need them to move towards us a little bit, otherwise we might end up losing the infantry, which would be bad. Another great person? Oh, a great merchant. Increases trade route capacity by one, plus 25% tourism rate towards other civilizations you have trade routes to. Yeah, that's good, that's something that will help us with our victory condition. And the spy. How about we spy on China a little bit more? Or on Arabia. We could spy on Arabia, that's not a terrible idea, in fact. Let's do that, we can spy on Arabia a bit. That's their biggest city from the looks of it. Off you go then. And production. Shipyard is only five turns, but I don't think we need that all that much. No, not really. Theater Square. What else can we do? Power plant. Let's grab the power plant. And change our research to something else. What would that be? Plastics? Yeah, sure. That's required for the synthetic materials, which we already have a boost for. And it will unlock the helicopter. And helicopter is a light cavalry unit. As silly as it sounds, but that's the promotion line that it uses. And there's the great merchant. So, oh yeah, we have to move to a commercial hub first. Looks good. So that means we should get some international trade routes. You know, to take advantage of the tourism boost. And that's the great general. He's going to need an escort. I guess we'll escort him with the battleship. Sounds good, I wouldn't want to lose him, that would be rather silly. Let's go for an international trade route then. That's a pretty good one, 17 gold, 2 culture, 1 science. Yep, off you go then. And we got 4 builds. What should we get? We could do something with the forests. Chop them and replace them with a mine. Yep. Alright. Anything else? Or are we done here? We can move a little bit closer. Looks like we're done here now. Come on, why can I not skip the turn? Oh, we have to move that guy. Right, that was a builder on the same tile as the observation balloon. 13 turns to finish that hangar. That will take a while. I don't like it too much, but oh well. We have to wait, we don't have a big choice. I might actually buy a unit for gold in Yaroslav. How much would that cost us? We could buy another artillery. Or we could buy a bomber. That's 2000 gold, Never but it's worth it. It will take way too Just long to recruit a bomber them. otherwise. We got rapid deployment. Do we want military first? Atomic and information are melee and ranged units. How many units do we have from Atomic Era? Just the bombers right now. Well, we will get the helicopters soon-ish. Let's have a look. Which policies do we have active? Ah, oh, one of them just got obsoleted. It was the older version of this, wasn't it? I think that's what it was. Alright, we'll use military first. That's fine. 
Okay. Sounds good to me. We could also pick up amenities in cities with a garrison. Oh wait, we never unlocked that, did we? <laughs> no, we didn't. We don't have a lot of garrisons to begin with, I suppose. The rest looks mostly fine. We are keeping skyscrapers. At least until we finish Crystal Redentor. Alright, carry on. Do we want to buy that bomber then? I think so. I would like to, that's 2000. Not cheap, but it will help a lot against China. I don't think they have any anti-air. I'm pretty sure they don't. Okay, let's buy a bomber, why the heck not? It would take way too long to actually recruit it. And civic, naval tradition, <laughs> we don't need that at all. No, we do not. What else should we get then? Let's have a look, we need some of the policies that will help with tourism. So we could work on those. I could also try to build the Theater Wonder. Only two turns to research that tech. Let's just get that. Two turns is nothing really. More seaside resorts. And production. Broadcast center is 16 turns. Let's grab that. We still have one great musician waiting somewhere. Right here. And we can't use him just yet. Oh yeah, the military engineer is ready. So we'll just get an airship. Doesn't really matter where exactly. I just need that for the boss. That's pretty much what I need. On one of these tiles. Do we have an artist still? No, we don't. Just the musician. Wait, what? Barbarians? Really? What do you think you're doing over here? They pillaged the tile. How rude. Come on now. I guess that means we'll need a builder, but let's finish the power plant first, because it's almost done. Oh, and yeah, right, since we are at war with Egypt, this might require some additional defenses. You know what we should do? We should bring the battleships. So let's just move them. They don't have anything better to do. And we can also send the Cossack. It doesn't have anything better to do either. Sure, this is quite a few units, but they are slightly outdated. To say the least. With the battleships, they don't really stand a chance. Any more battleships? No, that's all we got in the area. Alright, Tenochtitlan. Let's see. University, armory. Let's grab the water mill. Is this pillaged? It looks pillaged. Yeah, it is pillaged. Our builder can repair it. Done. Paris. What if we get some bombers? How long would that take? Where's the bomber? Oh yeah, we can't because we don't have the aerodrome in Paris, right. A tank is 15 turns. Military academy, 11 turns. Let's just start recruiting a tank, why not? And our aluminum city, Granary. Sure. Was that promotion? On the artillery. Let's pick that up then. Plus 10 combat strength versus land units. That will be very useful against these guys. So do some damage here. And we need to move a little bit closer with the artillery. Is that it? Fortify. Looks like that's it. We can't take a shot until the next turn. Move the Cossack west. This should actually be pretty interesting, mostly because of Egypt. I don't think Egypt can do a whole lot, but they might get a chance to do some damage to our city before our battleships arrive there. Eh, possibly. But these units are not exactly strong, let's just say. But hey, I'll give them credit for trying. We can use some city bombardment. Like so. That's instant kill. Yep. Should have done it a little bit differently, actually. But too late to change your mind now. Okay, we are coming. We do have plus one range on some of these guys. So that will also be helpful. And we can grab the Ironclad. At least one. 
production in Moscow. Let's have a look. Research lab, stock exchange, actually amphitheater. We still have a great writer somewhere, don't we? If we don't, we'll get one soon enough. Do we have a writer? Let's check the list. I don't think we have one right now, no. We just have... No, we do have a writer right here. Okay, let's just relocate him right away to Moscow. Off you go. And our agent was captured, or not yet at least, but we need to escape. Exit by foot is always the safest option, so we'll escape by foot. And envoys. We can grab Stockholm. And I think we should secure Geneva. We can place one more in Geneva. How many envoys do the other thieves have in here? China only has 13, so Geneva will be fine. Never mind then. One more. Hatusa. I would like to get Hatusa back. Can't do it just yet unless I remove some of the other dudes. Nah, we'll get Stockholm like this. We'll get Hatosa soon enough, it's fine. And the trade routes, looks like one got pillaged. Yep, we can trade with France. And the builder. We can grab a mine, we can also do something with the forests. Like chop them and replace them with something else. Alright, looking good. Can we do any damage at all right now? No. Can't disembark just yet. That's fine. Looks like we're done. Let's try to take the city sometime soon. But we might need to wait at least a few more turns. It will depend on how many units China will throw at us. Probably quite a few. I mean, it's their capital after all. Also, the bomber. Get over here. Air attack. 22 damage. Not quite enough to kill it. But it will do. Why can I not end the turn here? There aren't more units on that tile. So what's going on with that? Sleep? Yeah, I guess that works. Seaside resort. And military engineer. Let's just grab that airship. That will give us the boost. Better to fight for something and that gives us combined arms. Nothing. Which unlocks aircraft carrier and destroyer. I might end up building one aircraft carrier actually. Just to move bombers back and forth. Between the two continents, they are very far apart. He wants to make peace. And he's willing to give us a lot of crap. Okay, hold on, I might actually consider this to focus on Egypt for a while. Would he give us an actual city? Yeah, he would. But not his biggest cities, I assume. Okay, hold on, we can refuse for now. I'd like to check where exactly these cities are. Let's see... I don't think it makes any sense to accept any of these cities. I would like to take at least his capital if possible. I'm pretty sure we can do that while also fighting. Ignore this request. While also fighting Egypt. Opera is when a guy gets we finished in opera and ballet. And instead of bleeding, he do we want grand opera? I don't think Aim so. The moon. If you miss. And advanced ballistics. Do we still need skyscrapers? How many more turns for Crystal Redentor? It will be done in three turns. We can just switch it out the next time, after our next policy. We could do a quick research on Scorched Earth. Because why not? That's three turns and then we can swap skyscrapers for something else after Crystal Redentor is done. I like that plan. We got a great musician because clearly that's what we needed in this situation. <laughs> not. Two more turns to finish the amphitheater. Alright. Fine by me. And back to Egypt. Nice warrior, Cleopatra. I don't think that's going to do you much good. I could upgrade, but that would reduce the range. 
and I don't like that too much. So we'll upgrade the next time. Or maybe once we get more experience. Now, let's do some damage to that city. And I could just raise that city. That's probably what I'll end up doing, actually. I don't want this city here. And there's no real reason to capture it, honestly. I think we'll raise it. But I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.